Oh, it's not for another math. Easy solution. Turn to Scott's uh, trigonometry identity and now look at basically this identity, which is integral of uh, 1 over x squared plus a squared dx here, and show that it equals 2, 1 divided by a times by 10, the uh, inverse 10 of x over a plus a constant. So I'll prove this identity, and this is useful for integrating other functions, just plugging this in. And uh, like I did in my earlier video, so you could watch that, watch that video and, and see how I used this, um, this identity for it. So uh, now the proof for this is pretty straightforward, and this one first we're going to do is recall the derivative for inverse tan of x, which I showed in my earlier video, so make sure to watch that in my earlier video, the links below. So I showed that the inverse tan, the derivative of the inverse tan of x equals to 1 over x squared plus a, where a is just, I mean, plus 1. Yeah, so basically this a is just a random constant. So we have this right here, and now the first thing to do is see what happens if we had d over dx of inverse tan of now x yeah, x over a as opposed to x. So what we do here, we just plug this in inside this formula. So instead of x, we have x over a squared plus 1. And now we need to do the chain rule. So derivative of the inside function, which is x over a, that's just 1 over a. So again, this is chain rule. You can see that also in the video link below. Basic. This is just basic uh, derivatives. So now that we have this part right here, what we could do right here is cancel this this a at the bottom. So what we could do is times it by, well, a squared on the top and bottom of this of the denominator here just to cancel it out. So we're not changing anything. So when we add that, what we get now is one over and then basically I'll I'll move this a squared to this to this side. Just so we have right here, I'll also multiply it inside here. So this a squared goes in, a squared times by x, a squared, expand this out, and then plus a squared, and now we have a, uh, this is a one here, one divided by a squared, and then times it by this a right here. So this part here, this will cancel, we'll have a one divided by one divided by a, and then this a squared cancel, so what we're left is x squared plus a squared, these cancel, and now we're times it by 1 over 1 over a right here. Yeah, so that's what we get here. And then this one, this is the same thing as putting it on top. So this equals to a, and then divided by x squared plus a squared. And then the left side, that's just d over dx of inverse tan of x over a right here. Yeah, so now all we have to do right here is just move this a to the left side so that we'll have, well, the right side equals to exactly what we're trying to integrate this, 1 over x squared plus a squared. So moving this over, we get, well, yeah, we'll put it down right here, 1 over a d over dx tan, inverse tan of x over a equals to 1 over x squared plus a squared. And now what we could do right here is, well, this is a constant, so we could just put this inside this uh, integral, I mean, inside this derivative, and also this is a differential. We can multiply it to get it on this side. So what we could do, yeah, and we could just do that simply, just based on differentials, and you can see more on that in my proof of the uh, der derivative uh, function, or derivative concept in my links below. So now we could move this inside, because that's just a constant, so we have d, of a 1 over a times 10 inverse x over a right here and this equals 2 and now we'll also move this dx there so we get dx x squared plus a squared so this looks exactly like the function we're trying to do and now if we integrate both sides and also move this to this left side just because that's what uh, the identity looks like so we get d over dx, x squared plus a squared. Now this equals to, well, this is the integral of this side. And notice this, if you, this is the stuff inside the bracket, that's the same thing as writing, let's say, something like d, uh, integral of dx. That just equals to, well, x plus c. So now instead of this x, we have this 1 over 8 inverse 10 of x 
but divided by a. So this just equals to 1 over a inverse 10 of x over a plus c. And this is basically our identity. So yeah, I just wanted to show that. Uh, and, and yeah, and basically, yeah, this is used to uh, prove other uh, integrals like I did my earlier video and also future example videos I'll go over. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this quick video and like always you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.